Hey folks, there's a new tail light out from Saigo Light. Um, some of you guys may be familiar with their products for bicycling. Uh, they are a maker of USB rechargeable headlight and tail lights. Um, a good example is this headlight here, the Metro Pro 1100. Yeah, it's bright. Um, the new head tail lights you have out is the Hypershot 350. Now, this is the first for Saigo Light. They have dual LEDs on their tail light. Priorly, they have, like my old one here, the Hotshot 100. Now, this is 100 lumens of basically motorist fuck you. And this is the basically the dual sons of Tatooine in 350 lumens of motorized fuck you. Which button was it? This one. So we'll start off with the uh, Metro Pro, or the Pro 100, or Hot Shot 100, good lord. I just woke up, couldn't tell. So you have their triple flash. It's incessantly bright. Day flash, which is even worse. It's literally meant for high vis daytime stuff. They call this random flash. Steady. Zoom mode, which I'm a fan of. Rail fans watching my channel might like this one too, because Saren looks like the old Mars lights from the end of all passenger trains. Also incredibly bright. And then they have steady pulse. This is meant for nighttime riding. So you have the flashes for visibility. Or you know, tension grabbing. But you also happen to have the you know steady portion aspect of the light. That way motorists aren't having to play, hey, guess where a cyclist is between flashes at night. Um their headlights also have a steady pulse mode as well. If I find what I did with it. Here it is. As you can see, the headlight's considerably brighter than the tail light. We'll get back to that. But this is the old one. Now, the reason I'm showing this is because you need the comparison for the new one. So, triple flash. Day strobe. Oh, Jesus Christ. Random flash. Steady. I mentioned Tatooine and the Binary Suns. Zoom out. Right, that's actually painful to look at even from behind the camera. Steady pulse. I want to illustrate here is this one actually alternates. Which is the only pattern that alternates lights, but it's actually rather nice. But it is also incessantly bright. Then their new Buzz Flash, or Buzz Flash, is spelled B-Z-Z-Z-Z, -Z -Z -Z, so it's however the hell you want to pronounce it. Uh, yeah. And then back to Triple Flash. Now we're going to cycle this back over to um, Steady Pulse. I'm going to set this right here on my leg, like I had before. And we're going to go to Steady Pulse on the headlight. If I can get to stay pulse. There we go. There's a bit of a difference now. It's considerably brighter. If I, if I bring my 100 back out and set next to it, there's really just no comparison. That is painful to look at. So, all in all, the battery so far, the battery life is phenomenal. Now, each he each of these taillights, also, if I turn my headlight off, has a pattern adjust button. On the Pro 1, or the Hotshot 100, it's this one, if I can see. Yes, correct. Is this one. 
it's like a steady pulse, for example, that will, if I press and hold it, say just how fast this flashes. Or if I let go and press it again, it will slow it down. It also adjusts the brightness of some patterns, like the steady mode, for example. And there's a reason I'm cranking this up to maximum. Let me come back to this one here. It does the same thing on this one. You drop it all the way down to here, which is still pretty flippin' bright. And crank it all the way up to there, which is insanely bright. So, the comparison, if you will, the 100 lumen tail light, you know, has a spot in the wall like that. The 350. Yeah. You're also noticing what Cyclic calls their enhanced cycling optics. It's basically a, let me turn this off here. A diffuser lens within the taillight itself that's on basically all their taillights and headlights now that allows you to have a much wider beam pattern, which is nice. Now, if you, for whatever reason, you say you go to zoom here and you adjust the speed of zoom, and you're like, oh god, that's too slow. So you try to adjust it faster. You try to get back towards normal, but you're, then you're like, oh god, this is too fast. I want it back how it normally was. While it's on, you press and hold the power button. Wait for it to flash, but keep holding it. Until it does this. Then you may let it go. And you just factory reset the taillight. The same thing goes for the 100 lumens. So let's give an example here, like scan that. Normally you just let go at that point if it flashes once, if you want to just turn the taillight off. So now it's done that. And we're back to normal. So this has been an interior review of these. I will have an exterior review of the 350 next. Thanks, have a good one.